I was quite amazed to see so many people coming to a conference in Jerusalem, parents, and discuss openly their problems. Sean, we're here in Jerusalem at Kamocha, like you. This is a very special and unique conference relating to the special ed field and uh, people with needs in the Haredi or ultra-Orthodox religious uh, sector. This is considered a very revolutionary event as uh, this whole field was uh, looked at differently in the Haredi sector and this is a very important stage in more openness to children and adults with special needs. This event is for us, first of all, to see ourselves. We see one another, learn from one another, support one another, and at the end of the day, the children enjoy from this. It's the first time that I can see sharing, people that can share their experiences with others. How do they raise a child with disability? What are the solutions? What are the best modes of interventions? And uh, just the fact of sharing is, is the success of this conference. It's simply a revolution. 20 years ago they hid them, so God forbid they wouldn't be seen, behind the door, under the carpet. Today they're out in the open, everywhere. You can see here thousands of people, workers, parents, they all come out for this. 30% Thirty percent of people with disabilities in Israel are treated in institutions that are owned and operated by Haredim, even though we're only about ten percent of the population, because the motto of Chesed is that Torah begins and ends with Chesed. Treating a disabled child, for us, is a milestone. Any person who was created in God's image will bring him to his maximum ability. The Haredi public has established institutions for a variety of disabilities, a variety of ages. The professionals, the authorities, praise all our institutions. When I needed a place for my daughter, she's now past the age of 30, there were barely any places in this sector. We started to look and there simply weren't any. So we decided a few parents to open something small and this small thing turned into an empire. It's not enough that he has to deal with his disability, he also has to deal with his position in society. If he's a Hasid or belongs to a certain group, he has an additional problem. He's abnormal, he's different. I can see professionals that I couldn't see 10, 15 years ago. They weren't available, they didn't exist. Families had to cope with, uh, with uh, children with uh, intellectual disabilities or autism, uh, within the family. And why, why was that? Because first of all the stigma, it was uh, quite difficult to go public. Uh, you know, there are many, many uh, losses. By going out I can, uh, I can uh, maybe hurt my shidduch or my children's shidduch. I can, first of all, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a shame, you know. And uh, therefore many families prefer to uh, hide and not to uh, disclose their, their problems. If someone has difficulties but has spirit, it will be a lot easier for him. We know this today also from research. If someone has spiritual mental strength, he survives difficult health situations or other situations, certainly where there is a disability. Let's talk about the Haredi family, the way it wraps each disabled child. If there is a disabled child in the Haredi family, everyone wraps him with love. Everyone understands that he needs to be given more than other children. Everyone has a task in helping the disabled child.